I thought I'd compile this little list because a lot of these patterns you can buy and then resell for much higher because one, people are either too lazy to wait for the pattern to respawn because a lot of them have timers so you're not just going to be able to buy it and then go sell it immediately. You may have to wait for it to spawn. So a lot of people don't like to wait for it. They're just collectors and they want them so you can buy them. Or, you know, if you're going to learn them yourself, or maybe you just want to go visit these out of the way vendors. Now this first vendor here is naturally only accessible by engineers. They uh, teleport with their wormhole and they have a rare chance to get this place called underground and they come pop over. But as with most, th most things, there's always a way around it. So you're going to come to Northwestern Talleran at this building right here. And as you'll see, I'll fly into it, literally into it. And if we edge ourselves just carefully enough, we can fly right through the floor into underneath Dalaran. Now you want to hug the wall out here because if you fly towards the middle, you're actually going to end up in the uh, Dalaran Arena, which would be where you would go if you're um, doing, doing arena queues. It's actually the same arena. Normally not accessible, but you can actually get in there if you feel like it. So, it's right around here. You can see the little vent. And we'll pop into it here in a second. Oh, there we are. And the vendor, she has even one of her little things. So we just buy it. And of course she has three which can appear. This is just one of them, but they're all worth quite a bit. So, if you want to fly in here and just camp on a tune and buy them daily, you can always do that. Or whatever. So let's go visit our next vendor. Next vendor on our list is located in Moonglade. Now Moonglade can of course be accessed by anyone. It's not like a unique zone to druids. It's right here on the map. Anybody can fly there, go there, whatever. You actually go there for the Lunar Festival thing. So I'm sure you've been there a lot. But it can be accessed easily by druids because they have a teleport to Moonglade. Which sends you right where I am right now. Now the vendor is located right in this house here. You simply fly inside. She's the vendor right here named Jania Sunshadow. So you're gonna trade her and occasionally she will have three different shirts that aren't normally on her list. Two of them are you know common but one of them is massively rare. It's called Formal Dengai or Dengai. Dengai. I don't know how to pronounce it, but every time I'm on my druid before I hearth or anything, I pop over here and check. Because the formal Dengai can take up to two months, if not more, to spawn one of them. It's been known to have the spawns that far apart. Like, it's just extremely rare. Um, it's nothing more than cosmetic. It doesn't have anything special, but if you're wearing this on a bank alt, you're pretty, pretty expensive because, you know, it's just it's just for looks, but this thing can sell upwards to 100 to 150k. I've already seen it sell for so um very rare, very rare indeed. And if you're on your druid, it's not very hard to pop over here. The spell has no cooldown. You just press it, and you'll be only a few 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 feet away from where you need to check. Um, it's a great thing to do. Like I said, I do it every time I plan on hearthing. I'll come check the vendor and. See if she got anything. I've never personally got the shirt myself. I've gotten the other ones tons of times. And they sell well too. But um, these ones, these aren't worth anything. But she will occasionally have two other ones. Red and green and then um, the formal. So it's 70 gold for the formal. So you're going to, I mean, I always make sure to carry at least 100 gold when I'm coming to visit this person. Just so I can pick anything up that's on there. But um, sit a bank all here if you don't feel like using a druid and just log on it every once in a while check because you could log on and get a free 100k essentially so yeah that's vendor number two let's move along to number three and lastly we pop right over here to winter spring go to everlook right in the town and there's actually two vendors here that can be of use so we're gonna go inside and you talk to qia and she'll have some patterns available occasionally i just bought one of them it's the necklace and diamond tower but she also has pattern for Frost Saber Boots, Enchant Chest Major Health, and Rune Cloth Bag. 
that are, you know, you just buy them off of her. Um, they can be resold on the auction house. Collectors buy them. But also, you got an engineering vendor over here. He has some limited patterns, too, you can pick up. And they're just patterns that, you know, nobody really needs, honestly. They're not of any special use. They're not going to be groundbreaking. But a collector will buy them because they want it. Uh, you can generally sell these 100 gold each, I would say, is a reasonable offer. Some of them go more, but usually about 100k. So, not exactly massive money you're going to be making. But frankly, you could just camp an alt that you never use, never log on. They don't even have to be max level. You could fly, get your friend to fly you to one of these places, throw a level 20 there. Sit them there and just log on once a day. Check if the pattern's there. Buy it. Mail it to yourself. Boom. You just made free gold. Just logging on. Doesn't even have to be max level. So, pretty cool. If you like this, I can show you some more really good vendors that you can pop over to that aren't well known or pretty hidden. And, you know, make some profit. So, anyways, drop me a like. Share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. And yeah, let me know what you think.